LeBron James in the NBA Finals against the Los Angeles Lakers and Kobe Bryant. Any fantasies about that? Kobe Bryant, LeBron James. LeBron James, oh, Kobe Bryant. Kobe or LeBron? I say Kobe. Um, Kobe, okay. I'm a LeBron guy, I'm a LeBron guy. You're the first player who's picked LeBron. LeBron and Kobe, they're probably tied for second. Kobe, then LeBron. I would pick LeBron James. You would? I got him one slip behind Kobe Bryant. Kobe, then Bron. I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm jumping ship to Kobe. Okay, if I say if I say LeBron was better than Kobe, that doesn't mean I dislike Kobe. But uh, LeBron James is by far our best player. Is that if you had to pick one or the other, you're starting a team, you're going to take LeBron. LeBron James is nice. Mm -hmm. He's definitely the best player yeah, right now. Yeah. Kobe body different though. Lakers against Kobe. LeBron versus Kobe. You know, I, I love going against the best, and um, he's definitely the best. NBA Life Gang, I'm your host, AC Self, and this is NBA Life's Code Debate, Kobe versus LeBron, a matchup we never got to see in the NBA Finals. Hopefully we can settle the score with this in-depth look at both players. First off, these are the two greatest players to come up out of high school straight into the pros. It's time, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you got your popcorn ready. Now let's dust off that VCR and let's take it to 2003. In 03, LeBron James took off. It was his senior year when the Young King won Mr. Basketball, USA Gatorade National Player of the Year, the Jordan Capital Classic, and the McDonald's All-American Game MVP. In the 12th grade, James was killing it, averaging 32 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists, and 3 steals on the season. Skip, what are your thoughts on LeBron in high school? LeBron James was the greatest high school basketball player ever, even greater than Lou Alcindor at Power Memorial in New York City. And for those who don't know, he then became Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, <laughs> and he is regarded as the greatest most dominant high school basketball player ever, LeBron was better because LeBron could pass it and dominantly score the basketball. LeBron's games were popping back in the day. AI was in attendance, Big Meech was there too, and as the local news reported, even Shaq came through one time, causing a stir in the crowd when he made his appearance at halftime. On January 20th, 2003, the future NBA superstar drew a crowd of 16,220, a state record for high school basketball. Two weeks earlier, Kobe had just broken the all-time three-point record with 12 threes in one game as the Lakers were looking to win their fourth straight title. Is in big time jeopardy. He's got 10. Mason now guarding him, comes around the screen. Pull up, shot, shot. Is it good? Yes! You got company, Dennis, and guess what? He's going to take over the house pretty soon. It's going to be his house all by himself. Kobe starts to pull up, NBA record! Kobe was breaking records just like he did in high school. Shortly before becoming a professional basketball player, Kobe Bean Bryant led the Lower Marion High School to a state championship, averaging 30 points with 12 rebounds in the process. Now Bryant started playing basketball in Italy, but he ended his basketball career as Pennsylvania's all-time leading scorer, surpassing the great Will Chamberlain. Just outside of Philadelphia. Why are you here tonight? I'm here to watch Kobe and Shaq. My, you know, Shaq came to my game two years ago, and I'm here to watch them try to get a victory. In 2003, just before LeBron was drafted, the Lakers were at their peak after winning three consecutive championships. But in the 2002-2003 NBA season, LA was stumped by the Spurs, halting their four-peat aspirations. Eric Fisher and the rest of the Lakers knows that it's over. Many players on the Lakers were seen crying on the bench before being eliminated. But it was a great scoring season for one Kobe Bryant. Yes, he broke the record for most threes in a game, but he also started one of the greatest scoring streaks in NBA history. With at least 40 points in 9 straight games and at least 35 points in 13 consecutive games. Both are franchise records and the only NBA player with longer streaks, you guessed it, Will Chamberlain. 
Kobe also became the youngest player to reach 10,000 points, a record that would soon be in jeopardy because of the young phenom who was drafted that offseason. The Cleveland Cavaliers select LeBron James. In 2003, LeBron made the jump to the NBA. He started off fantastic from the dribble. In his first regular season game, he scored 25 points against the Sacramento Kings, setting an NBA record for most points by a prep to pro player in his debut performance. Since his rookie year, the King has been highly respected as one of the only superstars who hasn't had any off-court mishaps or scandals. Bryant, on the other hand, was about to go through the toughest time in his career. Kobe faced four years to life in prison if convicted of an alleged crime. Now the case was eventually thrown out, but it wasn't before Kobe lost his endorsements, not before his wife filed for divorce, and not before the police released a tape to the media that tarnished his relationship with his teammate Shaquille O'Neal. When was the last time you talked to Kobe? I don't know. I don't care. I don't know. If Kobe Bryant called you on your cell phone right now, what would you say to him? I don't have a cell phone. Kobe was going through it, ladies and gentlemen, but even all of that couldn't stop his game on the court. On December 19, 2003, Bryant didn't start the game against Denver. Why? Because he arrived late, coming from the court hearing in Colorado. But when he showed up, he showed out. Bryant hit a 21-foot jumper at the buzzer that night, giving the Lakers a 101-99 victory over Carmelo Anthony and the Nuggets. It was the first time he had come off the bench in a very long time. Kobe Bryant from Lower Marion High School. Now Kobe was a high prospect coming out of high school and well-rounded enough to be selected 13th in one of the best draft classes in history. A coming out party for the high school kid. But the player who would later be labeled the next MJ didn't start at first. As a matter of fact, he had to start off on the bench because Nick Van Exel, Eddie Jones, and Byron Scott were the top shotters on the Lakers as far as guards go. The Lakers had just acquired Shaquille O'Neal, traded Vladi Divac for the teenager, and many coaches and players didn't think Kobe would make a huge impact being drafted so young. You're playing with fire to say that any, any high school graduate is prepared emotionally and physically to step into the NBA. We don't want him. People don't want to babysit 18 and 19 year old kids. I just don't see the coaches and the personnel people having the time or the patience to, to nurture a young kid. Now you're going to tell me that a kid leaving high school is going to be socially and emotionally prepared for the, for the NBA? Not so. The Lakers made the playoffs Kobe's rookie year as the fourth seed. Kobe averaged a whopping seven points off the bench and wasn't even named to the all-rookie first team. In those playoffs, the Lakers advanced to the semifinals. And when the chips were on the line, the rookie came up short. Really short. Really, really short. I just want to come in and fit in well with the team. After working hard in the offseason, Kobe emerged as a star in his second year, averaging 15 points per game off the bench while being selected to play in the 1998 All-Star Game at age 19. Kobe made his first All-Star Game during a season where he only started one game. He was already popular enough that at the age 19, he got voted in despite not really putting up all-star numbers. He was even voted in as a starter and went at Jordan all night long, finishing with a team high 18 points. The Laker boy was making a name for himself. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. So Kobe. Yeah. He don't let the game come to him. Mm -hmm. no, he just wipe his teeth. He's gonna make his game. I'm gonna make this a one-on-one -on -one game. In the year 2000, LeBron James attended his first year at St. Vincent St. Mary High School in Akron, Ohio. In his freshman season, he averaged 18 points, six rebounds, and four assists per game. He helped his team win a state championship in 2000 and was named the state tournament MVP. LeBron was given the nickname, The Chosen One. LeBron James is the best high school basketball player I have ever seen, and I think he's better than Kobe Bryant was at the same age. Meanwhile, in the NBA, Kobe Bryant was named to the All-NBA Defensive First Team. 
while emerging as one of the NBA's youngest superstars. Kobe averaged 23 points, 5 rebounds and 6 assists, rocked the socks off Scottie Pippen and made this dynamic pass to Shaq in Game 7 of the Western Conference Finals that year. At 21 years old, Kobe won his first NBA championship, the first ever Lakers championship at the Staples Center. We'll toss it over to show you the celebration. Colin Noli is outside Staples. Conan, tell us what it was like in LA when Kobe won his first title. That's right, they're rocking and rolling outside Staples Center. This is the biggest commotion we've had in downtown Los Angeles since, um, well, frankly, I can't remember the last time we had this much commotion. Back to back titles. The next year, the Lakers went nearly undefeated in the entire playoff run. The Lakers dominated and won their second title back to back. The Shaq and Kobe Lakers had a firm grip on the West in the early 2000s, beating rivals like KG and the T-Wolves, C-Webb and the Kings, and of course Tim Duncan and the Spurs. Many teams thought they had what would be called a Kobe stopper. Sean Kemp, while Ruben iced his ankles, and so far, there hadn't been much stopping. But the Kobe stoppers didn't work. The next year, Kobe and Shaq three-peated. That's right, folks, three championships in a row. Three, that's three. That's the triple right there. Now, there's a meme on social media that says haters be like Shaq carried Kobe, and it shows that both superstars averaged over 30 points per game. Kobe even averaged an efficient 32 by the time they made it to the finals to go along with 7 rebounds and 6 assists. How on earth do you carry someone who averages 32 points per game? Now this noise and nonsense went on with the fans and the media for the entire Lakers run. And it raised a common question. Whose team is it? Kobe's or Shaq's? The Lakers were winning, but it wasn't all peaches and cream in La La Land. In the midst of Kobe's off-court drama, the Shaq and Kobe team didn't win again. In fact, after losing to the Pistons in five, they split up. Jealousy, egos, controversy, and all-out stupidity halted this dynasty's continuation. Shaq went to Miami to hook up with D-Wade, and Kobe now had his own team. In 2005, without Shaq, Kobe missed the playoffs for the first time in his career. Meanwhile, a young player in his second year wanted to taste the playoffs so bad that he went to the finals just to watch. The young king was ready to eat. I'm uh, really disappointed, you know, but I got to take my bumps and bruises just like everybody else, you know, to finally get to the playoffs and uh, you know, I'm going to be here very soon. The next year was 2006. LeBron averaged 31, 7 and 7 in the regular season, clinched the Cavs' first playoff berth for the first time in seven years, advanced to the second round, taking the Pistons to seven games before his Cavs were eliminated. But let's not get it twisted. This is 2006 we're talking about, and 2006 was all about the Black Mamba. Kobe guarded by Mark Peterson. Kobe pump fake for two. Kobe stopped the Laker right the points. Kobe Bryant. Bosh. For three again. Yes! <laughs> well, there's 70. Holy. Kobe straight up slotted the Toronto Raptors, personally scoring 81 points by himself. Kobe, with the lackluster team, took matters into his own hands that year, and I mean big time. There's no doubt that the 2006 NBA season was one of Kobe's best. Bryant had his best points per game average that year. This would be 18 for 20 from the line and an 81 point game. In that year, he destroyed the Mavs by scoring 62 points and didn't even play the fourth quarter. At one point, he had 62 and the Mavs entire team had 61. <laughs> now Kobe for three. I don't believe it. In 2006, Kobe had six 50-point games, 27 40-point games. He averaged 43 in the month of January, 45 in the month of March, and in April, Kobe averaged 42 points on 51% shooting. He made the playoffs and was eliminated in the first rounds for his efforts. 
Many believe he was robbed for the MVP award that year. He averaged 35 points, but had yet to win an MVP award for his career. Instead, the award went to Steve Nash. And if you thought matters couldn't get any worse, guess what? It did. Because Shaq won a championship that year with the Heat. Champions of the basketball world! I wanted you to get that. Because I needed that. I wanted that. Like, I wanted people to say, see, see, this is what they're missing here. This is what they gave up for. Right? Kobe should have been the one to go. Now he's in Miami. He's winning. I, I, like, I needed that. I wanted that. I wanted everybody to hate me. I wanted to fuel off of that and just come back with so much anger and so much vengeance. So I wanted that. So when you won, um, right after you won, I went out to the track and I ran. I did my conditioning, I did my drills, I woke up the next morning, I hit my weights, I did my thousand shots, I did everything humanly possible to get myself ready. But I, I was, I needed it. I was like, all right, yeah, good. Kobe led the league in scoring again in 2007, 32 points per game. He also changed his number to 24, marking a new beginning to an already illustrious career. The Lakers have notified the league Brian will wear 24 next year. LeBron, however, climbed a mountain in 2007. The 22-year-old LeBron James was living up to the hype, and this season, he averaged 27, 6, and 7. In just his second postseason at the age of 22, James had one of the most jaw-dropping performances in NBA playoff history. In a 109-107 double overtime win for the Cavs, James scored 29 of his team's final 30 points. And get this, he went 11 for 13 shooting from the field. He forced overtime on a dunk with 9 seconds remaining and then finished the game in double overtime with a driving layup with 2 seconds left. LeBron finished with 48 points, 9 rebounds, 7 assists and advanced to the championship round for the first time in his career. Even though he was swept in the finals, he made it to the championship round without a co-star like Shaq or a Hall of Fame coach like Phil Jackson. I appreciate you giving us this year. <laughs> LeBron had spectacular numbers that year and finished second in MVP voting. After that, Kobe felt like he had enough. You want out of Los Angeles? Yeah, I like to be traded. It's tough as it is to say that. It's tough as it is to, to come to that conclusion. Um, you know, there's no other. There's no other. There's no other alternative. You know, they they obviously wouldn't move in a different direction in terms of you know rebuilding. I wish they would have you know told me that um, you know prior to me signing with the team. So it's the summer of 2007 and Kobe wanted out of LA. He was rumored to join the Bulls or the Clippers. But what many don't know is the Lakers offered Kobe for LeBron in a trade. Kobe was not traded that offseason and was booed by the Lakers crowd when the season started. Recapping our, one of our top stories, the Lakers adding some firepower, pulling off a blockbuster deal. Paul Gasol, Kobe Bryant's new teammate. After two and a half painful years of starting Kawami Brown at the center, the Lakers traded for Paul Gasol and started to reap the benefits immediately. In the Spaniards' first game with the Lakers, you can notice as he's going to the bench, and he says, we should be blowing these motherfuckers away, come on! Something Kawami Brown wouldn't say on his best day. The chemistry was already there and Kobe could feel it. He was finally back in a familiar place in his career. Championship contention. So here we are. Kobe finally has a little help and LeBron is the king of the East. We should finally get a championship matchup between these two players, right? Well, there is that one thing I forgot about. LeBron now had to go through the big three in the Eastern Conference. LBJ was phenomenal that year as usual. Known for his passing, LeBron won the scoring title that year and took that big three Boston team to seven games. However, Kobe finally won the MVP award in 2008. KG, Chris, LeBron, sorry fellas. The same team that swept LeBron in the finals the previous year, Kobe defeated in five games, 
advancing to the playoffs for the first time since 2004. Kobe Bryant, it's something special. Kevin Garnett was Defensive Player of the Year. He teamed up with The Truth, Jesus Showsworth, and Rondo. They all came together and beat the Lakers in six. <laughs> After both athletes were taken out of the playoffs by the Celtics, they became teammates. Not to take on the big three, but to take on the world. Now it's time for the World Olympics, and it was time for redemption. Kobe right away said, I'll play defense. Hey! And in the first practice, he never took a shot. Hey, hey, hey. Take this Take this he wanted to let everyone know that I'm here, and I want to guard the best offensive player every time. Hey, hey. Hey, go, hey, go. LeBron, by yourself, straight right. He has uh, an amazing voice that can be heard if there are even 20,000 people in the stands. By yourself, by yourself, by yourself, by yourself, Mike. Down, 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 down. LeBron was an unstoppable force against the world's competition. On point passes and highlight reels for the King of Akron. Kobe carried the team through the last leg with 13 fourth quarter points and this three that sealed the deal. Kobe and LeBron as teammates won gold in Beijing and completed the redemption. Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, and Kareem, and Kobe Bryant, just to name a few. It's a humbling experience. These are guys that I looked up to growing up when I played a game of basketball at this very gym. The most valuable player award after six seasons was LeBron James's first MVP award. But it came with little to no surprise. LeBron finished second in NBA scoring that year with 28, finished with seven assists per game, and hauled in eight rebounds a night as well. James led the Cleveland Cavaliers to a 66-16 and record. With that, they owned the Eastern Conference top seed in the NBA playoffs. Nah, man. 23. Kobe. LeBron James. The Black Mamba. The chosen one. Can't check him. You can't stop him. And now, more than ever, the fans as well as the media were all geared up for what many thought would be a final showdown between these two superstars. Kobe and LeBron Mania was about to begin. LeBron, what's it feel like number one? Kobe, do you polish your rings? Kobe, LeBron, can you explain mm. your crab walk, dribble, dribble? Hey, Kobe, your crossover is sick, man. LeBron, can you practice your dunks? Uh, get my back. Vitamin LeBron. water commercials, Nike ads, and even Young Jeezy's Kobe LeBron song had us all assuming that we'd see Kobe and LeBron in the finals, and we were all here for it. Summer winning the gold medal. On one end, the Lakers seemed to be clicking on all cylinders and made it back to the championship round for the second season in a row. On the other end, LeBron swept the Pistons in the first round, no problem. Swept the Hawks in the second round, no problem. The Magic, however, had a 3-1 lead on them in the Eastern Conference Finals. Cavs forced a game six, and LeBron made this shot in game two. But eventually, they lost. Kobe ended up whooping Dwight in the Magic, won his fourth ring in five games, his first without Shaq, and now he was the finals MVP. It was now the 09-010 season. LeBron won his second consecutive MVP award. He was named All-NBA and All-NBA Defensive First Team, and the Cavs were first in the Eastern Conference. LeBron even broke Bryant's record and became the youngest player to reach 15,000 points. But his team, like Kobe's in 06, was just awful. Kobe was also named to the All-NBA and All-NBA Defensive First Team, and he became the youngest to reach 25,000 points. But it was the postseason the Black Mamba had on his mind. Rap legend Tupac Shakur once said, Revenge is one of the sweetest joys. Kobe first showed vengeance on the Phoenix Suns, who took him out in the first rounds back-to-back -back in 06 and 07. 
The Lakers beat them in the Western Conference Finals. But that's not where the retaliation tour ended. Kobe ended up going seven games against the Celtics and beat them in the finals like they did to them two years before. Kobe now had five rings and he also got a chance to shut Shaq's yap. Ain't nothing he can do about it either. We know what it means as a team, but what about individually for you? Just got one more than Shaq. <laughs> so you can take that to the bank. It is LeBron James Day here at St. Vincent St. Mary. LeBron was a back-to-back -back MVP, but his team was not good enough to get past Boston and make it to the finals to play against Kobe. In order to give the fans what we wanted, it was time for a change. In this fall, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach and um, join the Miami Heat. LeBron finally got the help he needed. With Pat Riley behind the scenes, LB teamed up with D-Wade Chris Bosh. After that infamous decision, LeBron was looked at as a villain choosing to join another superstars team. So it's 2010 and the start of a new decade. Kobe is now the reigning two-time defending champion and LeBron is a two-time MVP. And he promises championships. The big three in Miami didn't start off so well. They called a team meeting, got an understanding, and took off from there. The Heat were so popular, their nickname at the time, The Heatles. Selling out 99.1 road games. They faced the Celtics again in the playoffs, beat him in five, in a drama-filled short series. Now it was time for MVP Derrick Rose and the Bulls, and the Heat again advanced after five games. In the 10 games against the Bulls in Boston, LeBron scored over 25 six different times. But in the 2011 Finals, LeBron didn't score 25 once. He even scored 8 in Game 4. That's right, 8. LeBron had once again lost in the Finals. And the fans? Well, we didn't get that Kobe versus LeBron matchup we so desperately wanted. Largely due to the tremendous play by the Mavs, who upset the highly favored Heat in the Finals and swept the Lakers on the way. This was the first time Phil Jackson was ever swept in the playoffs. He retired immediately after game four. Kobe was now in his 15th season. He saw his team fall apart before his eyes. His coach was gone. His center was injured. His point guard was gone. His power forward and small forward would put on the trading block. But the trade was vetoed. Meanwhile, LeBron was named the NBA's most valuable player for 2011 and 2012. It was the third time in four years that the 27-year-old James had won the game's most prestigious individual award. He averaged 27, 8, and 6. He beat his rival Boston Celtics in Game 7 of the playoffs, scoring 25-plus points in each game, something only Kareem and Baylor have done before. Ending the era of the Big Three in Boston, then rising above in the NBA Finals lost from the year before, beating another big three in OKC. After five games and nine years, King James was finally a champion. What's the first thing that ran through your mind? Uh, it's about damn time. It's about damn time. Going back to last year's finals, the way it ended, the way you struggled, the ton of... It has been developing for months. Breaking news tonight here on Sports Center. Howard going to the Lakers. The Lakers acquired Dwight Howard and point guard Steve Nash Steve in hopes a, to compete with the Heat's big three. Nash make the Lakers? I'm simply saying... If they were fortunate enough to go up against LeBron James in Miami, they're better equipped. Once again, setting up in fans' minds around the world a potential finals matchup between our two superstars. Well, let's see how that turned out. Nash was telling him to move. Howard said he's wide open. The smaller guard was trapped. Howard wanted it thrown up. But this is the garbage you can't have. You know, you can get into it, 
but it's just happening too often. And it's always over the ball instead of over defense. Due to chemistry issues and injuries, the Lakers started off one and four. The man who was once considered just a kid out of high school had to do everything for his team to succeed in his 16th season. Bryant was leading the league in scoring for more than half the season. He scored 30 points in 10 consecutive games, the longest streak by any NBA player after turning 34. The Lakers had to fight just to secure the A spot, which is the final playoff berth in the Western Conference. Bryant began playing almost all 48 minutes each game, and Coach D'Antoni made matters worse by making Bryant guard the opponent's best perimeter player. On April 10, 2013, Bryant became the first player in NBA history to get 47 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists, 4 blocks, and 3 steals in an NBA game. Now that was on April 10th. On April 12th, two days later, Bryant suffered a torn Achilles tendon. He ended the season scoring an average of 27 points on 46% shooting, 6 rebounds and 6 assists. The Lakers made the playoffs after Kobe literally sacrificed his body for the team. But because of the injury, Kobe was unable to compete in the playoffs. That year went down in Kobe fans' minds, another season where he was snubbed of the MVP award. The MVP instead went to LeBron James. During the season, the Heat embarked on a 27-game winning streak. James won his fourth NBA Most Valuable Player Award at the end of the season, and he was one vote shy of winning the award unanimously. On June 3, 2013, the Heat defeated the Indiana Pacers in Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Finals. The Heat then defeated the San Antonio Spurs. Because of James' individual achievements and the team's postseason performance, this Miami Heat team is widely regarded as one of the greatest NBA teams in history. LeBron consistently showed the world how much of an all-around great player he is. 28 times he led his team in each category during the playoffs, the most in NBA postseason history. LeBron was now a back-to-back -back champion. The next season, LeBron and the Heat reached the finals again, but this time, they lost to the Spurs in five games. In the end, the Spurs defeated the Heat. After that, some drastic changes were made. LeBron James is going back to Cleveland. I'm coming home. He picked us! He wants to come back. He wants to fix Cleveland. LeBron went back home returned to the Cavs in 2014 and accompanied Kyrie and All-Star Kevin Love. LeBron became the first player in NBA history to put up 37 points, 18 plus rebounds and 13 plus assists in a playoff game. James continued to put up GOAT numbers and made it to the finals for the fifth season in a row. He won two games in the finals without Kyrie and Kevin Love, who both went down due to injury. However, the Cavs season ended with a 2-4 series loss to the Golden State Warriors. LeBron James with the congratulations for the MVP and a point of respect toward the Warriors bench. James comes out. A disappointed LeBron James. After the Achilles injury, Kobe was never the same. He announced he was done with basketball. After that, Kobe did the unthinkable. We are here to celebrate greatness for 20 years. Excellence for 20 years. The other forward for the final time, number 24 on the floor. Where this is seeking Kobe for three. Yes. 40-point game for the 122nd time. In his last game of his career, with all the injuries, with father time on his back, 
Kobe Bean Bryant dropped 60 points, 60, and the Lakers won the game. That same day, the Warriors beat the Bulls' record for most wins ever in a single season. Later in the playoffs, LeBron made it to the finals again, six times in a row now. And who did he have to go against? The Warriors and the two-time MVP, Steph Curry. This time, LeBron became the first player in NBA history to lead both NBA Finals teams in all five major statistical categories for the round. He also made one of the most iconic defensive plays in NBA Finals history. The Cavs will go on to defeat the Golden State Warriors in 2016. Cavaliers are NBA champions. Cleveland, this is for you. Coming back from a 3-1 series deficit to avenge the loss from the year prior, the Cavaliers' victory also marked their first championship won by a major professional sports team from Cleveland since 1964. One asterisk some analysts or fans put on LeBron's accomplishments is that he kept going to the finals because the competition in the East is historically weaker than the West. So what did LeBron do? We've got breaking news. LeBron is a Laker. LeBron James is a Los Angeles Laker for what ought to occupy the final act of his NBA story. Four year, 154. Given the fact that Kobe and LeBron were unwritten rivals, many fans living in LA didn't really give LeBron a warm welcome. His first year in LA didn't go all that well. LeBron missed the playoffs for the first time since 2006. In the offseason, AD's on the way. The Lakers acquired one of the top three players in the league in Anthony Davis. Well, we gonna get him. I'm saying, no, no, but, 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 AD but, is on the way. Stop. Right. <laughs> AD but, but, is on the way. But that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Making LeBron the favorite to win it all once again. LeBron went on to pass Kobe for third in the all-time scoring list. And lays it in, and there it is. He just became the third leading scorer in NBA history. And get this. He also did it in Kobe's hometown of Philadelphia. They put it on the big screen here in the Wells Fargo Center. The very next day, Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gigi, her teammates and members of their families were all killed in a helicopter accident. The legend Kobe Bryant is no longer with us. It's a tragic loss for NBA fans all around the world. But in the words of us, not forgotten. Live on, brother. Later in the year 2020, the world only became worse. Just came that this game has been postponed. The coronavirus so pandemic would shut the NBA down. Later on, that is all the information that we After have. months and months of sitting, the NBA decided to continue with the season. LeBron completed his second season in the Lakers uniform and won another championship and finals MVP. During the regular season, he led the league in assists. At 35 years old, King James is still unstoppable, unguardable, and there's no signs of him slowing down. Now let's look at the stats. LeBron has more points, assists, and rebounds than Kobe, but many believe he still doesn't rank higher than the Mamba all time. LeBron is a point forward and Kobe is a shooting guard. Their difference in positions won't allow them to have similar stats. It'll be easier if we said Kobe ranks higher than D-Wade because his three-pointer was better. It's less difficult to say Kobe's better than AI because his post-game is more elite. Or the fact that Kobe's athleticism puts him over Jerry West and Ray Allen. All of these players are Hall of Fame shooting guards. You can't expect Kobe to average as many assists as a point guard like LeBron James. But what many don't know is Kobe ranks first out of all shooting guards all time. That's right, Kobe, the player who many fairy tale minded people think can't pass, has the most assists than any other shooting guard ever. And get this, Kobe even ranks first all time in rebounding for shooting guards. I can't make this up, people. Kobe has the most rebounds for a two guard in the history of the league. Remember, out of Kobe's five championships, he only has two finals MVPs. Well, LeBron had to go to multiple teams to recruit and pair with superstars in order to win. Kobe has an all-time mid-range shot. LeBron is an all-time passer. Kobe has the better footwork. LeBron has the better team chemistry. Kobe has the 360, the reverse, the up and under dunk. 
LeBron has the signature tomahawk. Who's more clutch? LeBron's stat says he's more efficient when the game is on the line, but majority of the NBA fans and analysts would rather have Kobe take the last shot. Hamilton, the shot to Kobe. Who has better defense? He's one of the best defensive players in the league also. So don't get baited into something like this because if a young man can play the defensive Kobe game. Bryant, Kevin Garnett, Michael Jordan, and Gary Payton share the record for most all-defensive first-team selections. These guys will be an all-star Saturday. Dwayne Wade defending his skills title the last two years. Kobe in the three-point shot. Uh, he, he's making them work here. There's no doubt about it. Good stuff. Yeah. Four to shoot. And trap. Who will have more rings when it's all said and done? LeBron has four right now, and Kobe ended his career with five. Who would you rather have on your team? Kobe, his Mamba mentality, or LeBron and his super IQ? Who would win one-on-one? -on -one? Kobe shoots 56% when guarded by LeBron. LeBron shoots 26% when guarded by Kobe. But LeBron beat Kobe the majority of the time they played against each other whether that be with the Cavs or the Heat. Kobe also has the most misses of all time. With about 14,000, LeBron ranks in the top eight in misses of all time and is still an active player. LeBron averages 723 misses a year compared to Kobe's 724 misses a year. Not that much of a difference, is it? Footwork, killer instinct, actually playing the game of basketball on both sides on the skill level. Kobe, all around stat killer, unstoppable force, and more efficient, LeBron. Playing through injuries, even if he has to shoot with his left hand, even if his finger is broken. Kobe, spending millions of dollars on your body and working out to make sure you don't get hurt, LeBron. Who's more fun to watch? Who's more popular worldwide? Who ranks higher all time? I'll let you decide. Get in the comment box. Let me know what you think. I'm AC Self, and this is NBA Life. Thank you for watching. See you next time. last game with Kobe Bryant. What was it like for you to be part of that? One of the greatest to ever lace them up, and uh, I'm happy I'm able to play on the same court as them.